So now we can uh, go on to the force response of a second order system. Because we have already discussed the force response of a first order in great detail, this should not be very difficult. Again, I will take the particular circuit as an example, but it is understood that this applies to anything else. Let us say Vs is a constant. Okay. What do you expect the force response to be of Vc? Constant. And in this case, Vs itself. How do you find it? In case of RC circuits, we had some algorithm was for finding the final values, right? When you have both Ls and Cs, what do you do? Open circuit capacitors and short circuit the inductors. So, you cannot have a DC voltage across an inductor because if you do that, the current will be growing, right? So, if you want to have a DC steady state, the inductor voltage should be 0 and the capacitor current should be 0, okay? So, that is to find the final values, you open circuit the capacitors and short circuit the inductors. This you would have to do anyway for RL circuits as well, but for RLC circuits, it is the same way. Okay. So, if I have a constant input, so the steady state response Vc, what is it? What is the Final value of the response. I mean, not the steady state response is a function of time. The final value is okay. And let us say I was interested in this current also, the inductor current or this. What is the final value? 0. Okay. So, now we know that the total response is the steady state response plus natural response. So, here we will get V s plus one of the three types of the natural response. Okay. So, let us say L is uh, 100 nano henry and c is 1 nano farad and r is let us say 2 ohms. Okay. So, first of all is this a critically damped circuit or an under damped circuit or an over damped circuit? Please find out. What is the formula for quality factor or damping factor? From that you should be able to quickly tell, right? It is under damp. What is the damping factor? Damping factor is? What is the quality factor? Damping factor is 1 by 10. Quality factor is 5. Okay. So, this is an under damped system. So, you expect a response of the type. Okay, and PR and PI can themselves be expressed in terms of omega n and zeta or q. Okay, so I won't do that uh, here. Now, how do you find these constants? So let's say I tell you that this initially carries two volts, and this current initially is five milliamps. Okay. So how would you find the constant j1 and phi? t equal to 0. Okay. So, I will get uh, Vc of 0 which is 2 volts is Vs plus A1 cos phi. Okay. So, and then you have to differentiate it. Now, how is it related to what I have given here? This is the current. 
right so and in this case the current is c times the derivative of this voltage so c times dvc dt at t equal to 0 is 5 milliamps and if you differentiate this you get you can uh, differentiate this whole thing and then set t equal to 0 and you have two equations from that you can find the two constants okay and similarly if this was instead uh, 20 ohms what kind of system would it be q will be exactly half and it will be critically damped and if i had 50 ohms it will be over damped okay so as an exercise please take uh, these three values and find uh, the natural response with these initial conditions that is 2 volts and 5 milliamps okay so that should i think give you a drill in all the steps that are involved in finding the force response with a dc input okay that is a constant input